Hey guys, how you doing? Right here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, remember to follow me on Facebook. Type in Nitro Kyosho, all one word, will bring you to the community page. Uh, this is just going to be a real quick video, guys. Um, I updated, updated, upgraded the gear, the main pulley on this thing. Uh, now, there's no reports of any kind of defectiveness with the skies, and there's no anything on any of the forms or anything, so don't jump to any conclusions. I'm not here to report any kind of defective stuff. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is, has nothing defective about it. But they did offer an aluminum one, which I think should have come with the kit to begin with. Uh, and two things I definitely wanted to change was one, I wanted the aluminum pulley. And if anybody's interested in that, it's capital H O 571-S, aluminum one-way pulley. All right. Uh, and along with the servo mounts, I want to replace those two because the plastic ones have too much flex in them, guys. And I think those should have come with the aluminum ones, too. Uh, why they didn't uh, choose to give that or this with the kit, I don't know. Uh, but I trust aluminum. All my other goblins have, have aluminum pulleys. Uh, but I'll show you this one up close. This is the, the stock plastic one. And uh, to me, you know, there's a little flex, a little bit of flex in it. And uh, I just trust aluminum more, guys. Okay, but I'm going to hold on to this. And like I said, don't freak out because there's no defective reports on this or anything. Uh, so this is just something I'm choosing to do at my own uh, will. Because uh, like I said, I like aluminum over the plastic. Uh, the other thing, guys, is the, the other one is a little bit different size, the new aluminum one, so make sure you measure the thickness, okay? They give you shims with it, and I believe I used three shims on that. And what you can do is just simply test fit it, guys. Uh, you know, put the shims in, put your pulley on, put the screw in, don't thread it in, and just check if there's any play there. And that's the simplest way to do it. Uh, and that's really it, guys. No big deal, no brain surgery. Uh, so this guy's all ready to go. I'm just waiting on spring because <laughs> we have like five feet of snow outside. And I'm going to also, like I said, change those uh, uh, the servo uh, mounts to the aluminum when they're available. Uh, but so far, I haven't heard anything on any forums, guys. No bad news to report on this thing. I haven't heard of anything defective or falling apart, so that's good news always. Uh, I'll just give you some quick little tips here, guys. Uh, let me, well, I can show you this up close. For the canopy, anybody choosing uh, to use the rubber a seal that goes around here to protect it from getting all scrapped, scratched up or cracked or whatever. Uh, I always glue mine on, guys. The stuff is cheap. It comes with the kit. If you need more for another canopy, it, it only costs a couple of bucks. And what I do is I fit it all on, and then you go around the back of it, the inside, because you don't want to do the glue on the outside. And I use Loctite Super Glue with a brush, so you can brush it on. And basically what you do is just pull off about an inch or two at a time put this onto the inside of the, the canopy along it however far you want to go at one at one time and then just simply push the rubber on there hold it down uh, for a couple of seconds and then just go about the whole thing the same way and both do both sides very simple guys no uh, brain surgery to that but uh, you really should glue those. I glue them on all mine. You don't want that stuff falling off in the middle of a flight when it gets hot and it loosens up and, and then wrapping around your swash plate or causing a crash or something because of it. Okay, So I would definitely glue that on. That's one tip there. Now uh, You can buy, or if you have from some of the other canopies, if you have bigger goblins, they don't give this with the kit, guys, the soft stuff. That goes on the inside there, the little strip of the soft, foamy material. 
I chose to put it, I had some left over, and I only put it down to about here. You can see it in there, and then up to here, because this will uh, rub uh, on your boom and eventually scratch it up. I had that happen before, so definitely put that on there if you want to keep your boom in nice shape. Uh, the other thing is, where these holes are drilled, this doesn't exactly go you know, all the way down onto the boom like some of the, the other models I have, but it fits nice. Uh, so if, you, if you're doing that, making your holes, there's already pilot holes, so there's, there's not much you can really do about that, guys. It is what it is. Uh, but it fits nice, and I don't really have no complaints. It's not up in the up, up, up in the air, so it's not too bad. Uh, but those are the little tips on just the canopy. Mostly tips for guys that are new to goblins. I'm sure guys that already have them have all the experience and all this kind of knowledge. So anybody just getting into them, and uh, not much to see, guys. On that, uh, I'll pull this off of the. Or actually, let me bring the helicopter to you. You can see that the, uh, it's basically just aluminum and black. Uh, not much to really see in there, guys. That's why I didn't do the video like that, you know. Same looking gear, just pulley, but it's aluminum. So, other than that, no big deal there. Like I said, I chose to do it, guys. Uh, I like aluminum over plastic. Uh, but, you know, like I said, don't freak out. There's no uh, no reports or anything of uh, any defectiveness. So it's, it's strictly up to you whether you want to do that. Uh, other than that, some guys have been asking me about the other Goblin. Uh, we will be doing some videos on the other one soon. Uh, the red and the black kit. So keep an eye out for that. And another little surprise coming down the road soon in another couple of days or half a week. So, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, guys, it's Nitro Kyosho. Those are just some little tips and things, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.